Hoo-wee! Damn, would you look at that nasty grossness? Ew. I finally got around to rotating my awesome Falcon AT Trail tires the other day. Don't forget to check out my review right here. And I thought it would be a good time to use the engine maintenance kit I've had sitting on my shelf for quite a while. The kit cost me 16 bucks. It comes with some fuel injector cleaner, a throttle plate cleaner, and a top end cleaner. First thing first, it's easiest to just start out with the fuel injector cleaner. All you gotta do is pop your gas tank, unscrew the lid, and dump her in. Alternatively, if you don't wanna buy the kit, Try using a product kind of like this Tecron Complete Fuel System Cleaner. It's going to be really similar. You'll find it for about nine bucks. Next, I moved to the Throttle Plate Cleaner. You can also find a similar product for about five bucks. So we're going to need to take all of this off here to get to the throttle plate that should be right here. So I'm going to start with loosening this clamp, loosening this clamp. And uh, there's a little hose down here connected to it. I'm gonna have to look at that, maybe taking that off. This is normally one of those little push button plastic things. I had to put my own screw in there because I lost it and I didn't have anything else at the time. So I might have to take that out. If you wanted to, you could clean your mass airflow sensor right now since it's easy to get to on the air box, but not needed. Mine looked really clean anyway. I just gotta pop out that little screw. Just lift it gently out of the way, leave the hose on, and it can just lay there. All right, so here's first look at the throttle plate. The front end usually looks clean, it's the back side that's really dirty. It's spring-loaded, so you're gonna have to hold it open with something. At first I used a rod, and then I found stuffing a rag in there held it open pretty good. Look at that nasty, gross, tar-like, oily, nasty grossness. We gotta clean that out. Spray some of that throttle plate cleaner in there. At first I started using a rag, trying to wipe most of it out, and it turned out being a pain. So I stuffed the rag underneath the bottom of the plate to hold it open. And I ended up getting a couple of brushes, an old toothbrush, a couple of pipe cleaners, one bent over. You just don't want to let anything get in there. You don't want little pieces of the brushes come off and fall in there. There you can see it's starting to get a lot cleaner. The top of the plate, I got a little bit of dirt here and there. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. Don't let anything fall into the intake. Cleaning off the deposits on your throttle plate is going to help with any sort of rough idle or stalling problems. Just in general, the responsiveness of your throttle, it's going to improve. Oh yeah, now that it's all clean, now we can put the intake tube back on. Position the air intake tube back, put the two clamps back onto the air intake and the throttle plate, and get your little plastic retainer put back in. Good to go. The last thing in the kit is the top engine cleaner. You'll see online they sell a fancy application tool. You can buy it, it's gonna cost you probably 25 bucks. But I'll show you an easy way to do it with just a simple hose. Also, if you're looking for a similar product to what Subaru has here, consider using the Seafoam intake cleaner. For starters, you wanna make sure your car is fully warmed up. Do not do this with a cold car. We're gonna use this hose right on top and disconnect it down low and pull it up. And then I'm gonna take a piece of clear vinyl tubing I have. I think it's 3 eighths in diameter and push that right inside. Use something to kink the hose so it stays shut. I'm using a pair of small vice grips and you're ready to go. So start your car and while it's idling, you're going to open up the clear vinyl hose and let it suck up about one third of the top engine cleaner liquid. Try and do it gently. Try and control how much it takes. The first time I did it, it sucked it up pretty fast. It's not the end of the world. 
If it sucks up too much liquid at one time, it'll make your engine die or have really rough idling. So try and limit it just to little sips at a time. It helps clean carbon and gum and other deposits off your combustion chamber. It's also going to help clean the intake valves, stop carbon knot, prevent pre-ignition. It's just going to, in general, be a good maintenance item to help improve your drivability. Once you've got one third of a can in, kink the hose and you're gonna go run the engine at a higher RPM, say about 2000 RPM, until it wants to idle smoothly on its own. For the second go around, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna administer another one third of the can. Undo your kinked hose, keep it kinked just a little bit to limit the amount of suction, and just let it sip the liquid very slowly if you can. I got a little bit of snow falling here. Then we're gonna kink the hose again and go run the engine up at about 2000 RPM until it idles smoothly. For the third and final application, we're going to let it sip the last one third of the bottle. Once you get every last drop out, I did something different on the third application. You're supposed to run the engine at 2000 RPM until it idles smoothly and then go drive it. But I'm going to turn off the engine and I'm going to let that chemical sit and soak on all the carbon deposits in there for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to start the car and go drive it. This gives you a chance to put everything back together. Just pull out the clear vinyl hose and reconnect the intake vacuum hose. Don't forget to put it inside of its little clip. Make sure it idles smooth first and then go for a test drive and make sure that your emissions clear out and that it's driving pretty good. All right guys, I think that's all there is to it. And uh, I am noticing the car is accelerating pretty well. It's, uh, it's driving good. So, you know, it's been like 106,000 miles. I've never done this before. I thought it'd just be a good idea. And since it's a product Subaru puts out, I just want to show you how to do it. So I hope this video is useful for you guys. Give it a shot uh, and let me know what your results are. Thanks for watching, guys.